all of you are welcome to today's IT class. Today we are going to start your tender lesson operating system. In this lesson we are going to discuss about operating system. First we are going to discuss about the basics of computer system. The first computer is called the analytical engine which was invented by Charles Babbage in 1791 to 1871. The Charles Babbage is called the father of computer. The analytical engine was work based on steam. It is entirely different from modern computers. But the basic concepts of analytical engine is adopted to the modern computers. Okay, then the working computer, the first working computer is called the ENIAC. Today, we are using the computer for multiple purposes at the same time. We are using multiple application programs to satisfy our needs. The different purposes we are doing in the computer are text processing. We are using LibreOffice Writer, Open Office Writer, Applications for text processing, then image processing. We use Jim, Inkscape, etc. for image processing. Then sound editing, open shot video editor, uh, then we are used for sound editing. Then database handling, LibreOffice base, we are used for database handling. We use so many application programs to satisfy the need of users. These application programs are arranged in particular way in the system, particular way in, in our computer. Then these all data are stored as separate files. Okay, these are the basis of computer system. The first computer is analytical engine. Charles Babbage is the father of computer and the working computer is called the ENIAC. Then we are going to discuss detail about operating system. What is operating system? The operating system is an intermediate between hardware, computer system and the user. Okay. The operating system is an intermediate between computer system and the users. The operating system controls all the needs of the users. It manages data transaction between computer system and the users. Okay, so operating system act as a intermediate between computer system and uh, users. Okay, we are used so many different operating systems. The main two operating systems are Windows and uh, Linux. Windows operating systems are Windows uh, NT, Windows XP, Windows 7, Windows uh, 6. Okay. These are the different versions of Windows operating system. Windows is a Windows, the Microsoft is the owner of Windows operating system. Okay. Then Linux is another operating system. So many versions for Linux operating system. The first, first version of Linux is Unix. It's developed by the scientist Dennis Ritchie in Bell Laboratories in America. Okay. It's the first version of Linux operating system. Okay. Now we are use different uh, different versions of operating systems. Operating system is the intermediate between hard uh, computer system and the users. What are the functions of operating system? First one is coordination of application software. We use many application softwares in our computers. These all application programs are arranged in a particular way. This is the job of operating system. Okay. This is called a menu. The arrangement of application programs are called a menu. First one is coordination of application softwares. Second, coordination of hardware for parts. We use different hardwares in our computers. So, managing all the hardware in our computer is the responsibility of operating system. So, coordination of application programs, then coordination of 
hardware parts. Then storing of files. Give the name for the file. Give the location for the file. Then size of the file. The all the all the details of files are controlled by using operating system. When we store a file in in our disk, it can be divided into blocks and give an address to each blocks. This method this method is called a formatting. Divided the disk into blocks and give an address for that block is called a formatting. So these are the functions of operating system. Coordination of hardware parts. Then coordination of application software. Then storing of files. Next term is hard disk partitioning. When we install multiple operating system in our computer, the hard disk can be divided into different sections. And, and the different uh, files are stored for different operating systems. So, this process is called a partition. The hard disk can be divided into different sections for installing different operating system is called a partition. That is a separate files are created for users. Okay. Uh, when we uh, divided the hard disk into block, there are different files created. Root, then uh, home, then swap. The different uh, files in the operating systems are home, then root, then swap. The root is used for store the programs of operating system and the root is used for storing the files created by the users. Then the swap is temporary storage area. It is used for storing the details temporarily. Then computer users. The mobile phones are designed for use single user. That means that we can use only one, only one person. The system can be used by only one person. The mobile phones are single users. But our computer systems are multiple users. That means that multiple person can use the computer system. Okay. The uh, Linux operating system have the facility for registering multiple users. Multiple persons. These persons are called the computer users. Okay. When uh, registering a user in the Linux operating system, there is separate uh, file created in the home. There is a separate desktop alloc allocated for the users and keep their files protected from other users. It is provide protection by using the password. Okay. These are the facility for registered users. There is a separate desktop allocated for user and separate uh, folders are uh, given for store the details and these details are protected from other users. Then provide password facility. Okay. Then how we create a new folder, uh, sorry, new user, how we registered a new user goes applications, then system tools administrations, users and groups, then add the user details. Okay, all of you understand. How we add a new user, goes, applications, then, then system tools, then administration, then users and groups, then add the user. General structure of an operating system. Generally, a complete operating system will have two parts on the operational level. One is the kernel, which interact with the hardware directly or through drivers. And the other consists of shell and a system that displays software windows. That means graphical user interface, GUI. Free software. They are free to copy and share. No copyright issues. Proprietary software. Only the permission to use software was highly restricted and kept highly confidential. Operating system for other appliances. Mobile phones, 
എ ടി എം മോട്ടോർ കാർഡ്സ് ഒ എസ് ഫോർ വെയറബിൾ ഡിവൈസസ് സ്മാർട്ട് വാച്ച് സ്പെക്ടാക്കിൾസ് റിസ്റ്റ് ബാൻഡ്സ് ലോക്കറ്റ് ഗ്യാൻഡ് ചിപ്സ്